Well, hello. I, uh, I made pizza for the carbivores. And, uh, yeah, I did it in the old-fashioned way. Flour, water, salt, yeast, that's it. And uh, I wound up making a thin crust, lot of uh, edge for my third daughter. My second daughter, I made a calzone. And my wife, I made a thin crust all the way across. So uh, that would have been 300 grams, 200 grams, and 250 grams, respectively, uh, for the amount of dough. So uh, it's uh, pretty good. And uh, mine, I actually used four eggs, three quarter cup of almond flour, about a tablespoon of baking powder, and a half stick of butter. So I actually divided that into two and I microwaved that in an 8x8. Eight eight. So my total pizza was 8x16. Um, and uh, for all the sauces I used cream. Jesus, a lot of bleeding noise today. People go home. It's Christmas for Christ's sake. All right. So I did uh, uh, made a cream sauce with garlic pepper. I used um, Parmesan cheese for the saltiness and add a little bit of Italian spices. On that I put a bunch of pepperoni and then instead of actually recooking everything I actually used a hot plate and I actually take my mozzarella and I put it on the hot plate and if you let it brown to almost black and on the bottom, you can scrape that whole thing off. Molten cheese on the top. You flip it over onto the top. And uh, that's really good. So it winds up cooking, the obviously, the wafer thin pepperoni. And the cheese has this nice crust on the surface. And uh, I was still hungry after that, so I ate about uh, five whole chicken wings. Ten drumettes, ten flats, ten little tips. As a matter of fact, one of the flats seemed fused together. It was weird. Like the chicken had either had a fractured wing when it was little or had cancer or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, the meat tasted like really good on that particular wing. Mm. Um, and then I had a couple of pecans and uh, some uh, chocolate chips, which are 51% cacao. So obviously they're really high in sugar but when you eat a little bit it's no big deal and uh, the chocolate failure was really good so um, that's it that's kind of how I make my pizzas now and uh, I did uh, take a little nibble from my wife's thin crust and then I compared it with what I did with the almond flour crust and to me I didn't notice a humongous difference um, the texture is slightly different it's a little uh, it's a little thicker. Mine's a little thicker and um, kind of a little crumbly, but it's not um, it's not irritating. It's actually it's a really good workaround if you're trying to cut carbs. So uh, again, uh, had uh, some real good food today. So we'll talk to you guys again uh, tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.